Hi, my name is Josh, and I'm the owner of Foss Concepts, and I make custom gun holsters using real carbon fiber. Today, I want to show you a little bit of the real carbon fiber I use compared to the fake stuff on the market that's called uh, Holstex. Most people uh, compare it to Kydex, and it's pretty much the exact same thing as Kydex. Uh, the trade name is actually Holstex, and you can see it's actually got the, the carbon fiber printing on it that makes it look like it has the weave, but it's, uh, it's fake. It's just a, a plastic material that you can uh, thermoform it by just you know taking a heat gun or throwing it into the oven to make it flexible and then form it around the gun. What I use is I use the real deal. This is real carbon fiber. It, uh, you can see how flexible this is. It, uh, it comes in a weave pattern. This is a two by two weave. And let me see if I can get a little strand of it out of here. Um, basically, it comes as these little strands of carbon fiber and they weave it up. So real carbon fiber has to be infused with some sort of a hardener. Or a, in this case, I actually use epoxy. This is the epoxy resin I use. It's, uh, it's actually really great stuff. Um, it's not, not very cheap, but it's really awesome. I've got a sheet here that I've already formed up. This is nice and hard. You can see how hard it gets after I form it up. I'm flexing it about as hard as I can here with just one hand. <laughs> so yeah, this is it. It's, uh, it's pretty, pretty different than this fake stuff over here. The fake stuff here, I'll just show you with a heat gun. I can heat up the corner of it and in just a matter of seconds it'll become flexible. So you could imagine heating up this whole sheet and laying it over a gun and then just letting it uh, cool down and it takes the form of the gun and that's how they make a lot of the holsters, uh, at least a lot of the custom ones these days. And there's really nothing wrong with that process. It's it's really easy, and anybody can do it. But what I figured was is if everybody loved the look of carbon fiber so bad, why not use the real deal? I mean, if it's so great, why can't we use the real thing? And everybody just wants to fake it. See how easy that was. Just in a second there, I I actually had it bent over. Whereas with carbon fiber, I actually have to make custom molds, and I actually make my molds out of carbon fiber. Here's one right here. So this is considered a female mold, and what I'll end up doing is I'll take the raw carbon fiber, and I'll lay it down in there, and it'll form inside there. And I use a vacuum bag, and I put the bagging material around it, the whole thing, and I pull vacuum on it really tight, and then I pull my resin, actually pull it through using the vacuum to totally soak it. It then, uh, it then it cures in just a matter of about eight hours and that's just the specific resin I use and then I've got my part made. It's considerably stronger than the, this fake Holstex and it's uh, very, very lightweight. If you have any questions or any comments, I'd, I'd love to hear them. You can put them below and I'll have a link to my website as well. Thanks so much.